crescent V. We've got a burpee to a high flow, kettlebell squat curl, and 10 swings and five deadlifts. Give you guys some different modification options for these. So burpee to a high pull, standard, burpee behind our bell, and I'm gonna high pull. You may need to hop back, do your burpee, hop forward, do your high pull. Um, if this is feeling like a pretty high, light weight um, for your high pull, after you do your burpee, you step forward, you can do a single arm high pull. Next time, I'm gonna do the other side. Burpee, high pull. Making sure you get over the top of your weight every time. Um, keep checking back. Kettlebell squat curl. So we're gonna grab the kettlebell, thumbs down. And start with it here, up towards my chest. I squat, curl, curl, stand up. So kettlebell is upside down, my thumbs are pointed down. Um, 10, here I've given you guys a few different options. So we can go with just 10 swings and 10 deadlifts. So from here, 10 kettlebell swings, when you're done, rack it, extend over the top, hinge the hips, back stays nice and flat, we're gonna hit our deadlifts. Again, if this is a little bit of a light weight, um, there's a couple different things that you can do here. We can just go to a single arm kettlebell swing, 10 of those, five on each side, or you can go into 10 snatches, five on one side, switch, five on the other side, then I'm gonna go into um, 10 single deadlifts. So from here, single leg deadlifts, five on each side. Okay, so that's sort of a way to make this lighter weight feel heavier and feel like a little bit more work. All right, you guys, three times three set B, meet you back for set C.